everyone. Oh, wait, I could probably. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Easy Update. I'm here to unbox this. Okay. <laughs> this is the Bloodborne board game that I backed on Kickstarter like a hundred years ago. And we're gonna unbox this puppy. It is so big. <laughs> I got a few modules or whatever. Uh, so we'll see. Careful, easy. Don't slice the top of the game. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. I think I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to turn this on its side. Okay, here we go. They're, they're coming out. They're cascading outward. Okay, so we've got Murgo's Loft. It's an expansion. We've got the Canehurst, for Ca Forsaken Canehurst Castle. Ooh, official licensed product. How fancy. We're going to open all of these. We got... The Chalice Dungeons? I forgot I backed this thing so hard. The Blood Moon Box? I think that might have um, Eileen the Crow in it. No, that hopefully I have somewhere else. Oh yeah, no, there she is. Eileen the Crow. Oh my god. What the heck is this? Forsaken Canehurst Castle Extra? <laughs> Woo, okay, and the biggest, baddest of the bunch, the board game itself. Whoo boy, okay. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Empty, empty. Okay, I gotta save that, because I gotta get this thing home. Okay, um, yeah, and so obviously I'm not gonna play this right now. Um, and, it might be a while before we play it because, you know, I want to do it right and that means in person with as many of the, the guys as I can manage. So, you might have to be patient on that. We'll do an occasional board game show with it, but sadly, with everything, might be a minute. We gotta get those vaccines. Uh, Alright, well, should we start with the big bad itself? The main one? Look at this cover and everything. Oh my God, this is so nice. See, it says one to four players, 14 and up, 60 to 90 minutes. Love to see that. Lots of figures in here. We'll get some nice close-ups of those. Some some beautiful areas. Ugh, I'm stoked. Ugh, wearing a mask with sunscreen on makes my nose runny. Okay. What doesn't make my nose runny, though? Let's be real. All right, so we're busting in. All right. Uh, here we go, gang. Look at that. Look at this. Feel free to scan that QR code. I don't think there's anything. Okay, uh, we got a nice rule book. Full color rule book. Look at that. Most rule books for games are full color, but you never know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cool. Bunch of pieces. Looks like we've got Jura's ally, Bloody Crow, Alfred, Jura, he Henrix, Yosefka, Eileen, Little tablet, little uh, tokens here. Okay. Odin Chapel, Church of the Good Chalice, Grand Cathedral. These are like locations. Okay, the back just has the, the cover art on it. Central lap, Lamp, Great Bridge, Temple of Odin. So this is where you fight Gascoigne. It's been a minute since I played this game. My favorite game. Uh, ransacked House. That's where the little uh, wheelchair guy is, maybe? Occupied house. Yosefka's clinic. 
So it's like a lot of the locations from the main game are here. These are just some generic areas, it looks like. Graveyard, alleyway, courtyard lamp, yeah. Okay, and then this seems to be a like a board where you place various things. Uh, enemies and such, upgrades. Okay, whoa. This is like a big welcome home, good hunter. We'll open the minis last. So these are the hunter dashboards, apparently. Firearm, blood echoes, hit points, trick weapon, saw cleaver. So your trick weapon, I guess, goes on to the hunter dashboard like this. Oh, it's got two sides. On kill, draw one, heal one. Attacks with stagger also deal plus one blood. Or bleeding, maybe. So you could start with the saw cleaver, the threaded cane, the hunter axe, or Ludwig's holy blade. So that's the only one that's not an actual start weapon in the game. Uh, got some cards. Bloody Crow of Canehurst. Chicago. Yosef Yosefka's blood vial. So you got all kinds of items from the game. Enemy action deck. That's cool. Quick bite. It's got some consumables here. Stuff like bone marrow ash. Refreshes one reward card. These are basic cards, apparently. And then it looks like up here we've got some, maybe these are story cards? Introduction, yeah, ooh. S the Spreading Frenzy. Distribute two consumables and the Tiny to Nitrous reward among the hunters. Inspecting the house, your fears are confirmed. He was not slain by this monster, but succumbed to the scourge. Cool, like uh, story elements. This one just says, growing madness. Love that. Yeah, so it looks like we have little story uh, packets. There's Growing Madness, The Long Hunt, and Secrets of the Church. And then this looks like a boss deck. Oh, there's Fall of Old Yarn. So here we have Cleric Beast. Oh, and a repeating pistol here. Oh, so you can get your guns and stuff too. But let's look upon the minifigs, huh? Eh? Oh boy. So they come in this nice little plastic what have you. Ooh, okay, the, the back of this has all the outlines. Ugh. Okay, wow, there are a lot of these guys. I backed this thing like, I don't know, a year or two ago? <laughs> so my memory of it, not super great. So here we have a hunter with the saw cleaver. Here's the hunter's axe. Here's the Ludwig's holy blade. And here's the threaded cane. And they also are carrying a cannon. <laughs> and these are probably to put on the base of your characters so that you know who's who. And then we've got some big old, but they're like the ones in old Yarnum or whatever. Here's a little beastie. This looks like it could be Gascoigne. Little baby Gascoigne. Oh yeah, and here's Gascoigne transformed. I would wager. We've got some werewolves. We've got some villagers here. Blocking the light there, boxes. Got some villagers. Blood-starved beast here. That's pretty good, huh? Here's Cleric Beast, big old Cleric Beast, with a nice little plinth that they're standing on. We've got Vicar Amelia here, also big. Oh, this guy's real big. It must be the giants from the church courtyard. Oh, and here's this guy also from the church area. Man, these things are great. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Here's a brick boy. 
the, the smashy guy, the like parry tutorial guy. Oh man, this is great. Let me see, do I remember where everybody goes? So far so good. Okay, that's the main game. We won't look at every card because that would take forever. And I want to look at the other stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to go in order of the game. So, I guess, well, then we're, eh, that's a weird conundrum. Blood Moon happens before you get to Murgo's Loft. Yeah, okay, so this, this is next. Careful. Easy. So this one's got some more hunters and some more enemies and bosses and stuff. I've got no idea what's in the uh, Forsaken Canehurst Castle Extra box. All right, so we've got the Tenitris and the Blades of Mercy, baby! Yes! My favorite weapon in the game. That's why I got this one. <laughs> and I just wanted as much stuff as possible. So there's silhouettes on here again. We've also got Ludwig's Uncanny Holy Blade. Hmm. I wonder if there are rules for getting these extra things or not. Logarius's wheel. On attack, heal one. That seems cool. The Kirk hammer. There you go, Hubie. And the burial blade. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh my god. It took me far too long to realize that. Jeez. Okay. So they don't have. I mean, they have alternate modes, but they're trick weapons, for God's sake. So burial blade, like, they all have their L1s. So if you're using it. This way, it's on this side, and if you're using it this way, it's on this side. <laughs> Duh! Trick weapons! Let's see, Blades of Mercy. So Blades of Mercy together, Stagger can have, can affect enemy attacks of the same speed, and then separated, combo finisher deals plus one blood thing, bleeding maybe, for each filled attack slot. Quick cut, quick cut, combo finisher. Nice. Well, what does this game play like? Who's to say? Large Huntsman is in here. The Merciless Watcher. You got the Hunter Pistol. That's weird. That not that like the first one you get? Large Nightmare Apostle, Phase 1. Large Nightmare Apostle's in here. That's this young man. It's taped. I was like, why won't you come off? So we've got some, uh, some cute little treasure chests. And some cute little lamp lamp turns, lanterns, lamp turns. Lovely. We've got the doll, four of her for some reason. Beautiful. We've got this big boy. We've got the other player characters, so Burial Blade, Tenitris, Blades of Mercy, Little Eileen the Crow, hell yeah. This is the Ludwig's whatever. Here's the Kirk hammer. Here's Logarius' wheel. Ooh, remember this one? Remember this guy? He packs a wallop. I hit you a million times with the weird broken axe thing. Ooh, nasty. Spiders. Little spiders. Blech. Blech. This big freakazoid. And these guys from the nightmare. And then this large nightmare apostle, apparently. I don't remember where this guy. Oh, yeah, I do. This is when you're walking up uh, after the, the part where you can't be in the open, and this guy comes down. Yeah, I remember that now. You can just run past this guy. Very curious about all these little treasure chests. <laughs> I see a bad moon arising. Oh, actually, you could have gone to Castle, Castle Keeners before that stuff happens, but whatever. Um, all right. So let's go to Castle Kanehurst, one of my favorite areas of the game. Explore a forsaken bastion of horrors with 
Glee! Look at it, it's beautiful. Frozen Castle Canehurst. So we've got the sanct uh, Statuary Hall, Empty Corridor, my favorite. <laughs> Library. You got a little like slug boy in here. Rooftop access. Where's the room where you get the dress? It's like a dining room. Queen's chamber. That's at the end. Entranceway lamp. This is not a direct one to one, but it's pretty cool anyway. So we got Martyr Logarius. I hope he's like really hard. Forsaken Legacy. Kanehurst summons. Is that like the story stuff? Oh my god. I'm so excited. Forsaken Castle. Ooh, Queen's Legacy Vile Blood Covenant? You can be in covenants in this? Martyr's Legacy Executioner's Covenant? <gasps> ah! I hope you get different rewards for being in different covenants. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. All right. Annalise, Queen of the Vile Bloods. Kanehurst Summons. You got a little item there. Kane's Servant Knight. Man, look at that guy. Be gone with you, tape. Oh my goodness, it's taped on every side. How's that sound? You like that? You like that noise? Chat! Remember these nasty gargoyles? Nasty! Beautiful little gargoyle. These, these guys. The the cool ass blind ladies. These little weirdos. Oh yeah, remember these leech things? Ugh. Suck your blood. They suck your blood. Here's Annalise, queen of the vile bloods. And martyr Logarius. All right, let's see what the heck is in this bonus box. What are you, bonus box? <sighs> Mystery box open. Oh, okay. So it's another different hunter's pistol. Okay, so I guess there are just a bunch of them. Oh, so each different character has a hunter's pistol, I see. Um, it's the Reiter Pelosh. That weird little, uh, weapon thing. Huh. Fun. And, of course, the corresponding young man with the Reiter Pelosh. It's taped. But here he is. He's in there. Do you see what I see? Said the little drummer boy. Or whatever. Set the little drummer boy to the And Elise goes right here. A child, a child. Born in Virgo's loft. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. Be gone with the tape. I'll pick that tape up off the ground in eight months when we're back in here. All right, now then you would get to Murgo's Loft. Do they have a mini for the baby? No. Doesn't look like it. I guess it wouldn't really serve much of a purpose. So we've got Murgo's Loft. We have a lift, a pit, another pit. That's the starting lantern. And then the wet nurse's luminarium. Wee! So this is like the end of the damn game. Murgo's wet nurse. Wah wah wah. Murgo's attendant. I haven't seen. Uh, maybe she's in there. Maybe she's in the chalice donjons. Yarnum. Spoilers for Bloodborne, by the way. I guess. I'm just talking about every part of this game. Okay. Choop, choop, choop. Choop, choop, choop. Oh my god. Well, we'll get there. Look at this big guy. And Murgo's attendant. Look at that really nice, like, chainmail detailing on the hood here. These figures are very nice. Little shield detail there. 
Man, some somebody with skills that outstrip my own will paint these, I bet, and they'll look so good. Here's Murgo's wet nurse. Real, real monstrosity. Love to see it. One, a two, a three. Damn it. This has to go shut first, then a one, a two, a three. So this is the chalice dungeons, which are kind of the last thing in the game. You can sort of do them after Blood Starved Beast, but eh. And if you want to platinum the game, you gotta go down in here toward the end. So the chalice dungeons have a different rule book, that's cool. They're in English, that's helpful for me. Nice. Okay, so it looks like we've got some bonkers chalice dungeons. I don't know why I keep expecting them to be double-sided. Arena gate, chalice entrance. Ooh, this one has like a X on it. These different, the white lines must be like different areas. So you probably go like one, two, three. Arena gate lever, so you gotta go and find this and then get back to the arena gate. There are two levers. Two levers, both alike in dignity. Oh, look at this. Like, secrecy screens. Hunter versus Hunter? Oh, shoot. PvP, dude. Let's see. Combat, attack as usual. Place one card face down in an empty attack slot. At that speed, move two, transform weapon, or utilize firearm. All these can be staggered. All hunter attacks are basic attacks for firearms. When slain, remove one insight token and go to the hunter's dream. If you cannot, you are eliminated. Hunters do not grant blood echoes when slain. Dang, PVP. <laughs> I forgot about that. Beast Claw. Very cool. Brad likes the Beast Claw, I think. Chicago. Very cool. Oh, bloody attack on this side. May suffer one blood. So that might be hit points. To gain one speed, maybe? I don't know the rules. I haven't read the rules. Stake driver. Holy driver! And the rifle spear. Look at this guy. Sunglasses on. Cool guy over here. Mr. Cool Guy. Bell ringer. Beast possessed soul. So yeah, here's the bell ringing woman. Here's a sweet pup. Here's the soul starved beast, I think. Or beast possessed soul, maybe. Here's that witch guy. So we've got the beast claw, player character. Rifle spear, player character. The Chicago. Chicago! Stake driver, that's right. A scorpion. Get over here. Oops, this one's off the side. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Nasty. Big old freaking centipede. Blech. Cool guy. Big sickle guy. Oh my god, there are two of them. Get out of town. Get out of town! Look at this dude, got candles on him. Remember this guy? Big freaky arms. His arms became blades! Ow! I hurt myself on this guy's claws! This guy's a real pain in the ass. Swordmouth dog. Little ratty boy. This guy sucks in the cursed chalice dungeon, if my memory is correct. And then here we go. Yarnum herself. Queen Yarnum. Looking sad. Are there like scientists whose entire job is 
fitting minifigs into plastic containers. There you have it, friends. The Bloodborne board game. That's for the thumbnail. Well, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed looking at the uh, Bloodborne board game as much as I did in a very long time, once we've all got vaccines and can play a game together in person, I cut myself, um, we will play this for an occasional board game show. But until then, I don't know what until then, we'll just have to deal with life. But uh, I'm excited to spend the five hours it'll take to learn this bloody thing. And then uh, forget it all by the time we play it. Thanks for watching. Bye.